The Las Vegas Raiders are trading away their former second round pick cornerback Trayvon Mullen out of Clemson. This is crazy stuff. Mullen will be sent to the Arizona Cardinals where they'd need some secondary help. The Las Vegas Raiders this past year picked up Rocky Sin in a trade for an edge rusher Unique Ngakwe and also were able to sign the former Ravens cornerback Anthony Averett who filled in quite nicely when players like Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey were not available. Now, the Raiders are sending away Trayvon Mullen. We know the Raiders also have slot cornerback Nate Hobbs, who's going to be starting this upcoming season, and Mullen seemed like the odd man out. He was on the pup list for the majority of camp, only came back pretty recently, and did not appear in a single preseason game this season. Trayvon Mullen was the number one cornerback for the Raiders last year, opposite of Casey Hayward, and was also the number one cornerback when the Raiders also had a uh, net way uh, as the other starting cornerback. So he's been the number one guy ever since the Raiders moved on from Gary on Conley in 2019. The writing was on the wall for Trayvon Mullen this morning, posting a cryptic message saying thankful, thankful with the heart emoji. We did not know exactly what was going on, but it felt like there was a, a move in motion, something that was going to happen. And eventually, bam, Adam Schefter, first person to report it. According to Trayvon Mullen's agent, he will be traded to the Arizona Cardinals where he'll be playing with some other former Raiders players like Rodney Hudson, uh, Hudson who, who also went to the Cardinals as well. And it looks like he'll be backing up that defense and playing where now the current Raider used to play Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones was with the Cardinals last year and now, and now Mullen will be taking some reps with that defense. The trade details have finally been released. It looks like the Arizona Cardinals pretty much got Trayvon Mullen for free. A conditional seventh round pick the last time we traded a player for a conditional seventh round pick. That was Tyree Gillespie and they ended up cutting him so we didn't get a seventh round pick so the Cardinals could still cut Trayvon Mullen here but it seems like they're optimistic he'll be able to contribute to the team and to be honest he is a really good player so I think we will be getting a seventh round pick but it's kind of interesting that this is all we were able to get for Trayvon Mullen I think we should have been able to get something more but it seems like the Raiders didn't care and just wanted to get rid of the guy and after trying to you know trade away Alex Leatherwood and failing to do that they probably just decided to cut their losses and just move on. If you're a Raiders fan, you were originally nervous that the absence of Rocky Sin and Anthony Averett during preseason would have an effect on how healthy they'd be this year and if they'd even be able to compete. So you got kind of excited when you heard that Trayvon Mullen could be coming back. But now, Rocky Sin, Anthony Averett, Nate Hobbs seem healthy. They've they, they've been at practice. They originally weren't at practice for, for some time, Averett and Rocky Sin. So these are our starting three cornerbacks when we're in that sub defense for sure. Averett, Rocky Sin, Nate Hobbs, Willie Meek Robertson have a shot to make the roster. Bryce Cosby and Sam Webb have performed very well in preseason. They've popped. Isaiah Brown has held his own, but Webb really has popped up, popped out the most. So the Raiders could possibly have these people make the 53-man roster. And maybe they thought, hey, Mullen's not completely healthy. We know the guy went and got foot surgery in this offseason, and we weren't sure what his timetable was like. Obviously, he was optimistic that he'd be able to come back and be able to compete. And that's what every player is going to say. They're going to say, hey, I'm ready to go. I'll be back soon. And apparently Arizona and the Cardinals are kind of testing their luck. And they believe that Mullen is going to be healthy enough to compete and really contribute to their team this year. Mullen also reacting on Twitter after the trade doesn't seem too happy about it. Doesn't seem like he saw this entirely coming. It seems like he knew something was happening with the thankful post earlier. Now he has this one. Seems a little bit upset. Sucks for him. And here's the thing. He's actually one of our draft picks that, that have really worked out. He's part of that elite 2019 draft class where you have Crosby, Hunter Renfro, Trayvon Mullen. Yes, the Farrell, the Abram, you know, that hasn't been exactly what we expected, but Trayvon Mullen was one of the success stories for the Raiders. It really was just injuries last year that kept him out for a huge chunk of the season, almost the whole entire majority of the season just this last year. And you, you had thought maybe this guy could bounce back and that sucks that he's not going to be able to be productive on our team, but hopefully he has a good career and a lot of success. And by the way, the Raiders do face the Cardinals this year, so Trayvon Mullen is going to try to fight and get some payback, but hey, we'll see what happens, bro. 
Either way, this is the cornerback room we have this year. Let me know how confident you are in this cornerback room. Can these guys compete? Can these guys hold up? Should the Raiders have kept Trayvon Mullen, waited till he got healthy? He was on the last year of his rookie contract. Still is kind of a bargain player, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I think maybe you should have kept the guy around and see if he could really contribute to the team mid-year once he gets a little more healthy. Either way, like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the Raiders Rundown for more Raiders content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.